When it comes to the future of the MCU and what they're doing with all the Kang variants, there is a ton of possibilities. One possibility we've heard rumored is the inclusion of Iron Lad, aka an actual comic book variant of Kang. <laughs> Okay, before some people get mad, yes, Iron Lad is very much a thing. No, it's very much not a Disney is pushing a brand new creation that's literally like two years old. And no, he doesn't fall into the wokeness, which some people are already talking about, because Iron Lad is a Kang variant. But I'm not sure if people know this or not, and I think people's mind must just be warped because of the MCU. But Kang variants don't all have to look the same. They're not all supposed to be Jonathan Majors. Like, that's how it is in the comics. He looks vastly different from every different iteration in the multiverse. So recently, Iman Volani, aka Miss Marvel herself, was talking about comic book lore, what they're setting up, what they're doing with the multiverse saga, and what direction they could go in. And she says that the one hope she has is to see another member join the Young Avengers, and she hopes that when they're dealing with the whole Kang thing, that they might bring in Iron Lad because that's a character that has a place in Marvel and very much is a example of a good variant of Kang. Now, Iron Lad is almost 20 years old and he is the 16-year-old version of Nathaniel Richards. And he's, again, caught up in time travel and everything like that. The whole Iron thing doesn't make him Iron Man Jr. Like, that's a common misconception. People just look at the name and go, oh, there he is. And it's like, it's such a small little aspect of it. And also, like, he actually has affiliations with, like, the Young Avengers, Champions. I mean, he also, in the comics, has a connection to Renova, who we, of course, saw in Loki. So there's a natural path they could follow here with what to do with this character, what to do with, uh, the whole concept in general and also if you really think about where he's popped up and what he's done and how you can take the character and bend him in a different direction like marvel has where they made him kid immortus like you know there's possibilities here where they could legit take a kang variant that we've seen maybe in the council maybe immortus himself and go hey at one point he was legitimately good at heart and wanted to do the right thing but it just kind of escaped them. He had to conform to what the Kangs were doing. So once we're done with everything, one good one escapes and he doesn't want to be power hungry and money hungry and control hungry. And he just goes, you know what? I'm going to do good. I'm going to go back to a time in my life when nothing was going wrong and I'm going to become Iron Lad. Yeah, that's good. And also you tie it to the whole Richards thing with the Fantastic Four with time travel. Like there's a legit story here that could work that I think would be perfect. So... I'm all thumbs up for Iron Lad, to be honest with you all.